So hello and welcome back in this quick uh, video tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom game mode and your own custom pawn. As you can see here in this demo scene file, which you can also download for free, of course, to see exactly how I was setting up everything. Um, you can see that the by default, the, the, sp the spawn by default is a sphere and you see it in the reflection. And uh, many people asked me, Bernard, how can you actually get rid of that sphere? How can we make it invisible when you're in game mode? And that's what we are doing right here, right now. So first thing you want to do, you click on add new blueprint class. And then you see here there is a game mode base. You click on it and uh, I call this Bernard's. A new game mode so this is the first step you want to create a new game mode so now this is done double click on it and once you double clicked on it you can clearly see here um, that there is under the details tab the default pawn class and even right now because everything is inherited from a default pawn class of course the default pawn is set up so right now we are creating the game mode and we would like to change the default pawn. So because we didn't create anything new, we click on the plus button right next to it and that creates a new blueprint. In this case, a blueprint, what we do is we, we create a new pawn. So I call it Bernard's new pawn, okay? So I save it here in my content folder blueprints, say okay. and what is super important right now is that you go up here to the main tabs and you click on class settings and you need to make sure that you change the parent class right now it's set to pawn click on on it and type in default and you want to make sure that you are using a default pawn um, so when you do this as a parent class then you can see on the left side in the components that the mesh component that was also in inherited is showing up. And this is where you can make all the changes. You can change, first of all, uh, the sphere to any other geometry you would like to see uh, as your pawn. And you can also change the material. You just drag and drop it in here. And if you further scroll down on the rendering, then uncheck visible and check hidden in game. So now click on compile save also go back to your game uh, to your new game mode and compile and save and when you close this you see this is actually what you have been creating you you have been creating a new game mode and the new pawn so again still if you would click play right now and we do it and you launch the play mode you still see uh, the sphere in the reflection and Lots of people got confused and asked me and said, Bernard, I have followed now your instructions that did this, but I still see the sphere and nothing changed. So how can you change this? So you have to go into your project settings. So click on the main tabs settings, go into project settings. And once this is popping up, uh, type in game mode. And when you do this, then you can see by default, you have the default game mode set to game mode base. So if you click on it and select Bernard's new game mode or your new game mode, however you created it, whatever name you gave the new game mode, uh, switch it out and change it to that. And I also recommend if you're using the uh, a server for your gaming, then change it also here to Bernard's new game mode or whatever your new game mode is. So once this is done, now it should work and you should uh, be ready to go. If you click play, let's test it. You see here, you're in the game mode right now and there is no more sphere in the reflection. So everything was done properly and right. Yeah, and I would say happy pixeling. If you liked this video, of course, subscribe and um, yeah. Happy pixeling, happy retracing, have fun, and see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.